33.5 million. Feels like. Hey y'all, artist poet girl here, also known as APG Jamie. And today we're making a techniques journal. We are using regular manila file folders because I got a really good deal on a couple boxes of them recently. So you take your regular letter size file folder and you cut off three and one quarter inches. That's the portion we're going to use today. I have another video coming up in a week or so where we'll be using the other part. Okay? Okay. So cut off three and one quarters. And I'm going to use a scoreboard. Oh, I think I need to add that to my descriptions. Anyway, there will be uh, ingredients in the description box below and there will be some links intermittent along the video. So we're going to, at the natural fold, we folded it inside out and we scored at um, five and three quarters and then seven and a quarter. And then we flip it back and we score at... It doesn't matter which order you do it in. We score at one and a half and then seven and an eighth on the heavy side. Okay, like one little tick past seven and the eighth. So uh, now I'm just bone foldering, smashing them together. It's not a real bone. And um, that's essentially what the journal looks like. I'm going to have it flip on the portrait side right there. I'm cutting uh, slivers off at an angle just for ease of fold and to kind of get rid of a little bulk. The inside signatures of these is a regular sheet of letter paper. Well, I used uh, watercolor paper, but anyway, free. I got it free too. Um, you just fold, you know, your regular sheet of paper over so that you got five and a half and five and a half, which makes your 11. And then I trimmed off three inches of that so that I ended up with square journal for the other journal that we're going to make in another week or so. And so the, the, uh, what was I saying? The signatures for this, this journal is, um, 11 inches by 3 inches. So, yeah. Now we're going to glue on napkin because you got to have a little purdy purdy something on it. So we used a golden matte medium. Oh, oh, before I forget, because I almost forgot to tell you, I've only done this voiceover like a gazillion times. On the inside of the um, uh, ba -ba 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 bound edge, it's going to be the bound edge, I added a reinforcement strip uh, just shy of one and a half inches by three and a quarter inches just to reinforce the edge we're going to be doing our binding on. So, back to the napkin edge because I'm just all over the place today. La, la, la. Um, some, some napkins are really delicate. This is a really delicate napkin. So, easy on that brush work there, APG. Golden matte medium. Um, adhering it down with that, which adhering is a fancy word for gluing, and gluing is a fancy word for sticking it down. So I'm going to reinforce the folds and the actual edge all around um, my journal with this uh, washi tape. I recommend actually using glue when you stick your washi tape down because washi tape doesn't necessarily have a long-term stickage ability. I, yeah, you don't see me do that. Um, I do it later when you're not looking. I use uh, some Aileen's Turbo. I think it's Turbo Taxi. It's uh, tur Turbo Tacky, not Taxi. <laughs> it's kind of like a, it's a quick dry uh, tacky glue, and I like it. I got it on clearance somewhere, too, so I'll be buying that again. Just saying. So I'm trimming around the edges there. And I, anyway, I used that to stick down the little edges that came up. Once I got all my washi tape applied on the little short, short, short folds there and all along the outside edge, I went over the entire thing front and back with more matte medium. And still a couple of edges came up. But, you know, matte medium is it's pretty thin stuff. That's why I use the turbo, which I think eventually somewhere in the video y'all will see me do that. Because yeah, I'm not kidding when I say I've done this voiceover a few times. Okay? I'm hoping this is the winner. 
Mm -hmm. We don't want to jump into it. So I'm using a bone folder to fold over the uh, kind of half half on the washi tape there. And um, now I'm going to, this is uh, my template for the uh, signatures when I sew it into the cover. <laughs> oh, this just didn't get that quite right either. You know, measuring, measuring, measuring is not my forte. I have a lot of rulers, but just because I collect rulers, well, I don't really collect them. I just seem to buy them because, you know, I, in my head, it's like if I get a ruler, I'll be able to measure. I just know it. But yeah, it, it doesn't really work that way. So that's a, a Fisker's um, setting punch die thingy. It's got a little spring load thing. And I do have a video on uh, the closure I'm going to use on this journal, which features that particular um, type of punch eyelet setter. Uh, there'll be a link in the description box and to the left or right in this video. You'll see it'll be a little circle with the letter I, lowercase I in there, or something like that. Anyway, I punched the holes and I'm going to, I've already drawn lines because I have uh, eight signatures I'm sewing in this one. And uh, I'm going to sew, put my holes, poke holes, I'm going to poke holes on those lines and this is just telling me where to poke the holes at. I didn't exactly get it lined up really well and I ended up having to trim a little off the signatures because it was just easier for me that way. So, yeah, yeah. If you want perfection, you're going to have to look up a professional journal maker. I ain't one. Uh, my journals make me very happy. They, they hold together pretty well. So, But anyway, they're not necessarily gorgeous. And uh, yeah, I do like this one a lot, though. It makes me happy. Uh, so anyway, on the closure, which I, you yeah, will see me make those, but there, there, I have a, a detailed video of that, and it's kind of an older video, so don't expect a whole lot. But you'll, you'll, you'll get the gist of it there. And now I'm just poking the holes, and I poked one way, and now I'm poking the other way because. Um, yeah, just because it makes the hole more better. More butter, better hole. It's pokey tool. If you don't have a pokey tool, you can use a dart, like you use on a dart board when you're playing darts, or an awl, which they use in uh, carpentry. So there I'm laying my template down on my signature and poking those holes. And... Uh, the template actually worked really well for the signature. It was when I put it on my cover that I got off, but because I didn't check it, you know, measure twice, cut once, measure twice, poke holes once, you know. <sighs> I love y'all. I've recently heard I'm better than a box of frogs. <laughs> so happy when I read that. It still does. So anyway, keep that in mind as you're watching, okay? Just jumping around, jumping around. So here I am sewing in uh, my first signature. I recommend starting at the back and moving toward the front or starting at the front and moving to the back. Don't start in the middle. Signature, I am using a pamphlet stitch. Whichever side your string is hanging on when you first begin is the side that you will tie your knot. And therefore, you will either have a uh, knot inside the book or the knot on the outside. I wanted strings, so I'm going from the outside. You start in the middle, you come in, then you go all the way to the outside edge, and then all the way to the outside edge. <laughs> it really doesn't make any sense when I say it out loud. Look, look for some journaling. I don't really have any recommendations on that either. I'm sorry. Y'all see, just make sure when you're putting your knot, your square knot in there, that you have one string on one side of the long stitch and one string on the other side. Oh, Barb Owen. Of course. Barb Owen does a great video. I'll have to find that link and stick it in there. So anyway, you're going to tie a square knot. And that holds it in there. And there's all my signatures magically sewn in. And I want the strings. So I'm kind of taping them out of my way because I'm going to work on the closure. And I used washi tape. 
And I already had my little mark on there, which y'all couldn't see, and I didn't show you. And now I'm going to, that's my um, cro crochet cotton thread is what I used to sew the signatures in, and that's what I'm using for my closure as well. This is the little button thing you wrap the string around to close, and these are eyelets that I'm using. I'm more or less showing you here. And like I said, I'll link to uh, my more detailed older video on that. So, I am just all over the place. I must have had a piece of candy. I did have a piece of candy at lunch. Oh, I did. It was a, like a little dessert piece of candy. It came with my sandwich. Chicken salad sandwich. Aileen's tacky glue. Because I like that stuff. It, sometimes uh, after you set an eyelet, it may be a little um, rough. And if you're not uh, using it to run something all the way through like most eyelets are used for, uh, I just put a little circle on the other side. So, yeah, if it's not smooth, I just tap it. Love tap it with a hammer. Yeah, I put a pocket on the inside front cover, which is really kind of silly because it flips up and anything I'd put in there would probably fall out. I'm loosening up, loosening, loosening and up the little button so I can wrap the string around it. Crochet cotton thread. And there it is. There's closure. And there's that little washi tape come up, so I'm going to use some of that glue. There it is. Stick it underneath that edge with a brush. And there it is. Be sure you keep your brushes rinsed because glue will set your brushes stiff permanently. And there we go. Now I'm just going to show you and then we're going to come up with some close-up photos. And essentially, <laughs> this one's done. Oh, I added a tag labelage on the outside of my journal. And, uh, uh, these, this is techniques is taught through the series of Cat Hands Mixed Media Morsels. There will be links below and link on the side of the video. I'm just showing you front, back, side, laying down, sideways, opened up endways. <laughs> oh, it makes me happy. I have watercolor paper and regular card, uh, or regular copy paper so I can keep notes on it so <laughs> let's wrap this mishmash <laughs> be sure to check out cat hand so uh thanks for watching and happy arting y'all